So now let us see an example to solve a problem using the Chinese remainder theorem. So before you start solving the problem, please go through the algorithm carefully. Now the question goes like this. Find the solution using CRT. Now what is CRT? CRT stands for Chinese Remainder Theorem. The question is x is congruent to 2 mod 3, x is congruent to 3 mod 5 and x is congruent to 2 mod 7. Now we may convert these into equations. So how do you do that? x is congruent to 2 mod 3 can be written as x mod 3 is equal to 2. Now x is congruent to 3 mod 5 can be written as x mod 5 is equal to 3. And x is congruent to 2 mod 7 can be written as x mod 7 is equal to 2. So what are we supposed to find out over here? We have to find out that value of x which when divided by 3 gives you remainder 2 on being divided by 5 gives you remainder 3 and on being divided by 7 gives you remainder 2. So let us start with the solution. So the first thing that you should identify is the number of equations given. We can see that there are three equations. As a result, you have to find out a1, a2, a3 and m1, m2, m3 or small letters. So what is a1? a1 is equal to 2. What is a2? a2 is equal to 3. And what is a3? a3 is equal to 2. Now what is M1? M1 is equal to 3. Now M2 is 5. And then M3 is 7. Now the first step is find out capital M. The formula is small m1 into small m2 into small m3 which is 3 into 5 into 7 giving you the answer as 105. Now next step is to find out capital M1, capital M2 and capital M3. So we have capital M1 is equal to capital M by small m1 which is 105 by 3 giving you the answer as 35. Capital M2 is capital M by small m2 which is 105 divided by 5 giving you the answer as 21. And then capital M3 is equal to capital M divided by small m3 which is 105 divided by 7 giving you the answer as 15.